And have you seen Taken? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Did you like it or not? Yeah, I liked it. I, I definitely liked it as well. Jimmy hated, hated it. it. God. Hated it. Started with that. I, I, no, the, but I, tell you, I thought the storyline had some some issues, but yes, the action was amazing. It, it, there was no storyline. It was his fucking dumb daughter goes overseas after she runs like a retard. A pony! A <laughs> fucking retard run. Watch her run. It'll ruin the movie for you. This is her run. Watch. Jimmy does it perfect. Watch. A pony! <laughs> the, fuck that, the fucking hacky writing. The father, he brings her a fucking, what, a, a Susie oven bake, whatever the fuck. It was a Mr. The, Microphone or something, yeah, right? It, rich... so, it sounds like, it, it sounds yeah. like the beginning of trying to get him to like his daughter. Yeah. That you, it's obligatory. No, he to, wants his daughter to he, like him. But the the new father, you know, has all the He's money the and can money. buy the pony. It's, it's, it's and he doesn't have those. Yes, it was hack 101. Pretty and then the clean. CIA yeah. buddies sitting around, oh, what are you doing? Uh, trying to get back into the organization. It was fucking, <laughs> yes, watch yes. her run. Yes, watch yes, fucking, yes. look, look at this hacky scene. Look at Liam his. Liam Neeson. His awful fucking hair dye. Why? It looks natural it to me. Look at her. Watch, watch the run. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> what a like fucking her. idiot she and is. she's too old to do that. Right, yeah, she is. She's 37 and she's running for a pony. <laughs> well, her best friend's supposed to be, what, 17 this in the movie? And her, her best friend looks yeah, like she's 30 or something. So bad. This is just clips of her this, running in this movie, this which is hysterical. This helps with the movie, though. It, because you, she's, she's semi-retarded. <laughs> he has this semi-retarded daughter and this new rich guy who's just buying stuff. But this guy, oh my Liam God. Neeson, is oh, tremendous. On. But on YouTube, someone put all the running clips yeah, together. It's a montage. Yeah. This is they great. Knew how retarded. <laughs> Wait, isn't that our it's, thing? What yes, is it's a fan of the show, obviously. Oh, one of the, oh, one of the fans came That's up with this. That's fantastic. And Liam Neeson's fucking hair is soy sauce colored hair. <laughs> soy that was that sauce. fucking it's, terrible. It's, soy sauce <laughs> it, it's taking a running retard, but they spell retard R E T A R T, right? Retard. The retard. story was so fucking. Check weak. it out on YouTube. They, this guy did a yeah. great job. One of our fans. The story obviously. was so weak. She goes over there <laughs> and she calls him while she's under a bed. And twenty minutes later, he's on the first flight out. <laughs> All right, use my iPhone app to catch. These bad men. Oh, let me walk through the house. Oh, I hope my hair dye doesn't leak onto my white shirt. Hey, in the airport, randomly, you're the guy. Let me chase you and then hop a cab to go to the exact address. Oh, wait a minute. There's a hair fiber. Oh, wait, it's mine. It looks like a soy noodle. Do you watch? Do you watch genres? Like this and enjoy it. Yes, I have a good action movie. Like Every that. fucking movie like this, you can has the cliche look, if, part. If, has some if issues. Really, if you think about, you can't watch any zombie movie ever if you look at it too closely. Because the thing about a zombie movie is, how the fuck do they know the other ones are zombies? If you go. If you just look at that and say that, that'll fuck the movie up. Wait, how do, you, how do the zombies Maybe, know? I, like the zombies, everybody's walking around, Ugh, brains. But this motherfucker next to me. Is a zombie? I, I know it. Like I, I diagnose yeah, him. You know it. Just because yes. he's a zombie. So no, you say just act know. like a zombie and they'll never get yeah, you. It's the a zombie zombies team? have some kind of zombie thing. Danny is a pro professional. They definitely. This pro there's like some kind of like sixth sense. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You just know, like they know. How, they does, a how does a dog it. know another dog is a dog? It's they just they just it. know. <laughs> zombies yeah. can smell other zombies. <laughs> That's right. Do you hear what the fuck we talking about? It's suspension of disbelief. You fucking ass. No, I don't mind that. The but movie still is mean... a guy that's chasing his fuck. First of all, Liam Old Neeson <laughs> yes. is chasing his retarded daughter around the world. He said it. I have. A, I don't have money. I have a special uh, array of skills. And I hated that too on it's the phone. A great. That and then trite the, here's speech. what the movie did. After that, after the triteness and after the old shit. He did what he was supposed to be doing. Yes, made a B film. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking went and did fucked up shit to people to no, find his daughter. No, it's not that I, listen to me, I'm not a movie snob. Like, I don't need a perfect storyline. But when a storyline is, is so awful, where he saves the starlet, and at the end he gives, he brings that lunk-headed bitch daughter of his, <laughs> here's your gift, here's, come meet the superstar. Oh, thank you, I answer my own door, I live in the suburbs. That fucking shitty house she lived in. Yeah, it was, there was so many by. shitty parts of it, and it ruined it for me. I love a good action movie. I love John Woo movies. I love fucking, uh, I like uh, the original. Which, which John Woo movie did you like? Fucking uh, uh, Hard Boiled, fucking The Killer. Well, those are those are his, those are the movies before Hollywood got mm -hmm. to him. That's what I like. That's How about stuff. Hard Target? No, I don't, I don't understand American Cause see, Because see, the Asian, the, the Asian uh, movies are different than American movies. Uh -huh. But I can switch, I can suspend disbelief. Like when Shao Yun Fat is rolling around shooting 11 people and not getting shot,
I can suspend disbelief and just enjoy that. Like it's it's well done. But that's what Liam Neeson was doing. But it was it's terrible. Soy sauce threw you off. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like so many things about. It. Some of the action was good, um, but the fucking it, it like. Uh, the scene you talked about off the air about when he, when he shot the other guy's wife. Yeah, that was a great scene. scene. I, it's one they just of don't the do that greatest in Hollywood. movie scenes yeah. I've yeah. ever seen. He shot the guy's fucking wife. Right and in this front is, of him. And this is what I liked about the movie. And I agree with all the bullshit. The great thing about the movie is that it he he's not fucking around. <laughs> That's what I like about it. So he's like, look, man. And he's talking to this old his old partner. He's like, look, man, I need my daughter. And the guy's like... Listen, Liam, and he just shoots the guy's wife to go, I'm not fucking <laughs> with around. you. Tell me what you know. And then, wait a minute, wait! Another greatness. The, the, the guy getting ready to make the speech like, You Americans can't kill me. You have rule. He soon as the guy welded his mouth up to give a foreign guy fuck America speech, <laughs> Liam electrocuted him. <laughs> he wasn't even going to. I'm not fucking around you know, with gonna you. They're going to stand for the you have rules and <laughs> regulations <laughs> that you must in a chair. adhere to. He put a sock in his mouth. He 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 he, he connected it to the light bulb socket, and the guy's getting ready to go. I'll never. <laughs> Did he? Wait a minute! I forgot this part. He nailed his hands to a chair yeah. with his with with two spikes in his hands. The guy's sitting in the chair, and he's like, "Well, let me." Wham! <laughs> Jesus style, motherfucker. <laughs> and electrocuted that cocksucker. That's what I enjoyed about the movie. All that stuff was real uh, strong. But the storyline is where I'm with Jimmy. It's a weak storyline, but he's. he. he the, but he's, why didn't they clean that up and then they would have had a yeah, fucking major Gump fucking is a weak storyline. Oh, what the, like, Forrest Gump stinks. No, nah, well, but it's, it's a little bit more. Like, this is for an action movie. It, it's, it's, in a way, it's, to me, it's cheating. Like, they do things they don't have. Like, like fucking Lethal Weapon is a great fucking cop buddy action movie like it's a great Me movie it's a great movie like i don't I, so i'm not above loving i love schwarzenegger i think is the best action star ever i can watch almost anything schwarzenegger does and suspend disbelief but there was something so cheesy about this, and I running felt like they man cheated. Was cheesy? I, love, I don't remember Running Man. Running Man was pretty cheesy. I yeah. love Schwarzenegger too, but Running Man wasn't that cheesy. That wasn't one of his uh, I big films. Man, that wasn't cheesy. You know what, though? Yeah, yeah. I they, think they, they were trying. I see Patrice's point because I think they were trying for something else, though. Yes, yeah, a good movie. Like, yeah, they were. They, yeah, but you know, <laughs> you're right, though. They were. With those other action movies, it's like, hey, here's an action movie. Let's just fucking throw it. We'll have Arnold fucking shooting these guys up. and that. This one, I think they were trying for like a sentimental kind of uh, more of an involved story, a film. Not just a movie. I think they were really trying for more than just an action movie. It was a just a little bit. They were trying a little bit there, and that's the parts that get like, oh, come on. How about you call Interpol in and have them get your daughter instead of hopping a flight <laughs> after hearing a recording and then laying under the bed because you sense it? Oh, beat it. Put a hat on with that awful <laughs> hair dye. <laughs> it always comes down to a hat with Jimmy. He gets fucking hair dye. Made me sick. He's, He's obsessed up. with hats. He's Jimmy hats. Hats. Hey, Enough the bad guy's hat. running his sushi on Liam Neeson's head. <laughs> <laughs> I, I enjoyed how much <laughs> Liam Neeson was not playing. It, it just, it, he when he it. shot that guy's wife. Yeah, yep. I said this is this is yeah. one of my favorite movies. I, I can watch this over and over right. just because this, of what he's fucking doing. We're, not, we're never gonna get anywhere with this argument. But no, <laughs> which is fine. It's, it's, it's like it's a couple of good. Yeah, I agree with it. It was a couple of great scenes. But even Dolomite had a couple of great scenes. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a movie. I like. You know what? Uh, I don't want to get off the subject though of movies because uh, um, uh, this got started the discussion because of the new Jamie Foxx movie. Yes, that is coming on, and I have something to say with Gerard about uh, Butler, this. Right? Yes, I have What's something to say about, about who, who, this. Bring everyone to the table. What's the movie about? I have no fucking idea. Some, some CIA type it's about bullshit. A, it's about a, a, a guy. I saw the trailer. So basically, mm. it's uh, Gerard Butler's uh, daughter, I think. Something bad happened to her. And oh. Jamie Foxx. What does he go to get her and go under the bed with a tape recorder? <laughs> yes. Soy, soy sauce yes. hair. Yes. <laughs> well, he teases his hair up with little with the condiments. <laughs> <laughs> it's soy sauce hair. Fucking Kikoman shampoo. <laughs> Watch that. You'll never not look at Liam Neeson's awful fucking soy sauce colored wig. It's fucking horrendous. I can't Thank you, Kenny. deal with that. So your it. point, though, is so on the new Jamie oh, Foxx. Oh, yes, yes. Jamie Foxx. Uh, Jamie Foxx was on, wasn't he on uh, Living Color? Yes. Yes. And he uh, uh, was, a, was a comedian. Yes. And uh, 
he did impressions. Yeah. Uh, also, he then does a fucking great impression, apparently, of Ray Charles for a movie. Yes. That's a great impression of Ray Charles. And now he's a fucking actor. Doing well, these movies, he's not good. His, his was, he's not good. Here's why I hate being. I, here's why I hate being. And this is this is why we're always to the end of time, which is 2012. <laughs> Thank God, I'm lying to meet Black you. People, Kaku. He says it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Doctor Steve says fuck him in his bubble universe. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we got a problem with the, yes. the I, All I want to say is I, I I hate to do this because I but it, that's a racial mm. attitude you're having. Even no. though even though you can base it on Jamie Fox. Not because he's black, it's because Michael Keaton got to be a fucking guy. I'll throw Jim, him in the same Jim, thing. Jim, Jim Carrey, Carrey got to be I was just gonna this mention. guy. Tom Hanks used to dress as a bitch in a sitcom got to be this but guy. Tom Hanks why is can't Jamie a good Fox, actor. And why the fuck can't Eddie Murphy be that guy? Tom Hanks is a good actor. Eddie Murphy was a good actor. In, Jamie in, Foxx is a fucking good actor. No, he isn't. Did you see this one where he was in The Goal? He's a good actor. No. I, I think he's as, as good, good as fucking uh, 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 Jim Carrey in f in in, in uh, uh, his quirky. What's the dumb, yeah, first of all number thirteen, which had to drive Ooh. him back to doing comedy. They kicked him out of seriousness. <laughs> but Robin Harry Knuckles Williams gets to be yeah. a fucking serious guy. Robin all the time. Uh, Robin Williams is always a Juilliard trained actor. He's actually he's actually a real. Jamie Foxx is a fucking good actor. I don't what a no. is, is a bad. He is no, a, he's not he's a bad not actor. Good. Jamie Foxx not a bad actor. This I, is crazy. This is racial, Anthony. No, no, no. I, I would tell you if it was. I swear to you. I tell you. There's too many it was white racial. actors that get to be fucking I'll not call, comedians I'll call anymore. Them out, and I have called them out in the past. And I think Jim Carrey is a prime example of somebody that was doing comedy. This the he table did, guy. He did the wacky Remember fucking that shit. shit. And then they, they throw him into serious roles, and he sucks an ass. The problem is, like, you, you, here's what annoyed you about Ray Jamie Foxx. Was great. Yeah, he did a great what, imitation of Ray Charles. How about him? In in Ali as fucking Bon Diddy Brown, he did a good job. Oh, it was I, great. We, I, that was all right, he I'll did a great him, job. Man. That. that guy is a good actor, I'll man. Give him that. It's probably, he's a it better was actor than Jim because Carrey. He was playing. Here's what was annoying. This is he is a good actor, but he was playing Ray all over after the the, the award yeah. and just singing. It was like shut up. It was more just an irritating thing that he was doing. He is a good actor, but I'm just sick and that's, tired of seeing him. That stupid movie where they're in the fighter planes. Uh, he was he was awful in that. It fuck? was called Stealth. Yeah. Oh, Stealth. Stealth. Okay. But every actor does that. They get their tour de force, and then they do horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Jackson yep. has it. Him and John Travolta. Oh, my God. Both of them. Haven't right. done a fucking thing since Pulp Fiction. Since the except genius. Except for shit. That was Pulp Fiction. They have done shit. Motherfucking snakes on a motherfucking plane. A uh, what? Well, and is again, really? again, I fuck you. I look, I like to play both angles. Mm -hmm. Pulp Fiction. Why the fuck is John Travolta the leading man? And what you call is not the leading. I saw it as like Sam a Jackson? dual. Sam Jackson Much was better. A I saw actor. it as co fucking. No well, Charles way. is a bigger name, dude. He had to be. Charles, Charles is a. a so Charles was coming off of He was fucking, doing um, nothing. The, the baby talking, shit. Baby talking, fucking baby, movies. The baby shit. Well, that's just a, that's <laughs> he just was a, done. That's only a name size thing, though. Because Jackson was relatively. He had done uh, uh, Jungle Fever before that, but he hadn't done a tremendous amount of roles. You could never put him on equal billing with Travolta. I and Paul saw Pitcher. that as total. Co fucking yeah, billing. Why the fuck is it? No, they were because he got because um John Devolta was up for yeah, lead an actor in oh, the no Oscar. It? No, I understand that, but just watching goes? the movie, you oh, thought no, they were. What I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I hate Pulp Fiction when Sam's not in it. Yeah, it's I can't. Watch, I don't watch he's, the movie. I, I fast forward through till he's in the movie. Marcellus <laughs> Wallace getting fucking fucked is I pretty a, good. That was a great scene. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I'm just saying, Anthony. Look, I fucking love to trash anybody. But it's too many I would fucking old white dudes. Like, at some point, I have to say, Tom Hanks left comedy. Like, he's gone. Yeah. But Eddie Murphy still has to do horse shit. They won't let the motherfucker do and serious mm. shit. He doesn't want to. He could. Eddie Murphy is in a position where he could do, because he's Murphy. He's one of the highest drawing box office guys still. Like, his movies, we all go, eh. He still makes fucking $50 million a year doing movies. Like there's, you still like the top and ten still guys. And he's a motherfucker. You Donkey is, is, a, is hilarious. I think that's a credit to fucking Eddie Murphy and a curse for him because he did such a fucking great job 
in funny mo 48 Hours was probably one of the funniest fucking movies I saw. One of the greatest and, movies. Yeah, and it's yeah. just a great fucking movie. Gans. Hey, Gans. <laughs> nice gun. He didn't want great. He doesn't want to do a drama where uh, he could. If, he, if anywhere you wanted to do a drama and wanted to play a murderer or a fucking really unlikable guy, Eddie Murphy is in a position where he could do that. People might advise him against it. Eddie Murphy. He tried it in Metro. He tried it in Metro. Yeah. He tried it in Boomerang, where he tried to leave the the the, the comedy, the kind of comedy thing, mm -hmm. and he and he also he did it fantastically in Dreamgirls. I don't know if you've seen mm -hmm. Dreamgirls. I hate musicals. I I I went to see, I, I, I saw it, but that, he was that's a critically but he, acclaimed in that. He was great in that, but that's where every comic moves towards. Fucking Robin Williams got to just be. A fucking serious actor. At some point, he got to just do because he did a what good job wanted. at it. After Garp, after Garp, don't forget he started with Popeye, Ugh. and he's, he's a Shakespearean actor. Like, and I'm not saying that uh, I'm not disrespecting his, his meaning. I'm just saying he gets he, to be. He what did he well is. at the box office. If it goes well at the box office. Then they'll fuck it. Like, but don't forget the Eddie yeah. Murphy movies you're talking about didn't do that well, except for Dreamgirls. I but don't think this. I don't think it's racial at all, though. No. I think it's what the people want. They want to see Eddie Murphy being goofy, Eddie Murphy. Yeah. And as far as Tom Hanks goes, uh, him being like the funny guy movies, they, they worked, but not nearly as successful. He went from as big to Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, like he doesn't do anything funny anymore. No, like he's you forget. Like if you're born after a certain time, yeah. You fucking Joe versus the guy. volcano. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fucking uh, money pit. Michael uh, Keaton got to money be pit? Batman. Who Splash? the fuck made that decision? Yeah. That that was unfair to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And, and I fucking hate. <laughs> I hate the okay. Like when I see shit where they they try to give black people uh uh they try to give us. A fucking uh, what do they call it? A, 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 uh, what you know? Bone. They try to throw us a bone. Oh, uh, I know. You know I, was, I was so <laughs> ready to just start jumping in with <laughs> Jesus for Why would you assholes. do that to yourself? You fucking <laughs> you did it to yourself. <laughs> but when they when they put Michael Clark Duncan in as as uh, as on on Electra, when they put him in as the kingpin, if you're if you're a fan of comic books, kingpin's a big white guy. And and when they mm. put Michael Clark Duncan in as a chance, a crazy casting, I'm going, what the fuck? Why would you? Don't make white people black for me, motherfucker. He's white. Yeah, yeah. Just just do the right thing. So when you when you say Jamie Foxx did this, did this man, everybody does that. Jamie Foxx is doing exactly what the fuck everybody else does. Do bad movies after he does good. this great thing. Good, great for Jamie Foxx. But I don't find... Jamie Foxx to be uh, believable when I watch him. You can think he sucks. I, I, don't, I just don't think he's good. Yeah, I don't How think he's good. You say, what, what it, I don't really, know. It's you just, just you, 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 when I watch suck. him. What does he do that sucks? When I'm watching him in a movie, I'm totally the taken Tom out Cruise of the fucking movie. The Tom Cruise thing. The Tom Cruise cat collateral. I think. Collateral. He was bad in that. Oh, collateral. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't buy it. I, I, I'd watch him and like, I, it takes me out of the movie. It can't. It does. I don't know why. I think his bad movies take you out of the movie. Like, the, just the, the, the poor... <laughs> and nice headshots. You just don't like him, that's all. You just yeah, don't like him. Yeah. He was great in Ali. Yeah, he was better than Will Smith yeah, in Ali. He was good in Ali. He, he was amazing. Yeah, he was yeah. To this day, Michael Keaton bothers me how he got to I, move out finished, of... He's finished, though. He doesn't no, they, they, they kicked he's him to done. the curb, though. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't get fucking, to, to do movies anymore. Movies. After yeah. Pacific Heights, it's kind of a downhill... Yeah, you get to just I mean, choose, go man. to his IMDb. It didn't work out well for me. Believe me, there are plenty of white actors. I think that not did enough the, did the same thing and suck. Not enough. They don't throw enough yeah. white actors to the side. He must have pissed somebody off, man. Yeah. Also, it depends on what you're making. The yeah. fucking Kevin Costner. How does he get to continue to an be Oscar? Uh, not that motherfucker. Not so much though with him too. But he he makes one movie every so often, and it's a fucking four hour epic. And he directs them, and he directs them a lot of times. So you know, produces them. Like, it's his project. JFK. Like, fucking, what's his name also uh, from Lethal Weapon? Uh, Danny Glover. No, no. Who Joe plays, Pesci. Who plays the next again in 2012? Another nigger president. <laughs> <laughs> who's sitting yeah. on the end of the world. Yeah. <laughs> Hollywood doesn't even give a fuck. I, I, I wish to God I could hit the lottery. Please, God. Cause it's not Why would you no go to chance. Burlington Coat Factory? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mel, Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson fucked himself with all that Jewish 
No, he didn't. No, you know what? Because <laughs> he runs his shit. He runs his own shit. But it's his own shit. Right. He right. had to pay out of his own fucking lethal weapon money uh, to put those movies out. He had to pay out of his own fucking lethal weapon money to put those movies out. He said, fuck Hollywood. Hollywood isn't ready to embrace fucking uh, Mel Gibson Dude. Uh, and, and give him movies. He's got to do this shit himself now. He fucked himself. He did. He did a movie in the Mayan language, and it was yeah, great. It was great. Mel Gibson is a bad fucking director. Yeah. He is great, man. He really he's is. got some talent. Dude, he's be able to do that. Great. Yeah. Hey, uh, shit like that. He's great. All right, that's good shit. And he's done some garbage too. The Man Without a Face. Uh, <laughs> conspiracy <laughs> they theory. They all have. Uh, yeah, that wasn't to... a bad movie. Yeah, it was, that was you know, dumb. And man. Ransom, I saw I again it on be TV. Better. Ransom wasn't Ransom. bad. Ransom was I liked great. That. I liked yeah. Ransom. That's a good and one. what happened to Renee Russo? What the yeah. fuck? Hollywood what should have happened to her? She got old. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? Didn't they? She was around because she Hollywood was should do. good looking. <laughs> yeah, square for yeah, acting. They should at least have a show. They have a show about everything. Yeah. Just announcing who's done. Like, what? Oh, man. What happened to Gene Triplehorn? Who? Remember Who? funny looking Jean Triplehorn? No, that fucking shit. She was shit in up. a movie. She was. She played the wife, and um, she was in Waterworld, and she played Tom Cruise's oh, wife. Fuck yeah, her. In uh, she was, oh, in, she was in everything. Movie? What's the lawyer movie she did? Philadelphia. Oh. No, she was in uh, the Firm. The Firm. Yeah. L she, who? She did they, look good in Waterworld. Somebody uh, just said Waterworld. her career's over. Yeah, she's done. She's in big love now, but when you get demoted from movies to TV, yeah, it's... Because yeah. it's, uh, they all want to go from TV to movies. Which means Christian uh, Slater. Yeah, when did he, he... When did he... When did people say he's over? You're right. Can you just let me know when a motherfucker's career is over? He's, uh... Yeah, he's on Curb Your Enthusiasm on one episode I just saw. Oh, really? Yeah. He's doing TV. Renee Russo is a good example. But is it the she fucking... She was in every other movie for yeah. a while. Do they make bad yeah. decisions? They start doing bad. What, what? You're right. What does happen? Sometimes they're they just gone. <laughs> they fucking smack one of those uh, Scientologists in the face. Or yeah, something. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they turn down their invitation to the church, <laughs> and they're out of Hollywood. Florence Henderson, by the way, is on TV. She's had work done, but she looks fucking unbelievable. Uh, she's got to be a thousand years Dude, old. She's, that's Mrs. Brady. She still looks good. Oh, I guess the Brady bunch is forty. Is yeah. that what they're saying? Oh, really? She's about the seven Brady years old. bunch is a forty-year-old. Are we looking program. at a seven-year-old broad right there? I think, think so. Oh, yeah. My wow. girl called me yesterday said she was on Wendy Williams. Yeah. <clears throat> so Florence Henderson? They was going to show the clip, and I didn't notice. Uh, she said they charge you $7,000 to show ba Brady Bunch clips. Oh, that's fucking why, Sherwood that's why some, of these, some of these fucking shows are not showing the clips on yeah. this, this run because it's like, I'm not paying $7,000 for. You shitting me? No, nah, the yeah. They talked about it on Wendy Williams the other day. That's wow. Pretty, that's crazy. $7,000? I would just give her fucking 500 and say, act that out. <laughs> <laughs> Here yeah. you go. Get that Here. sausage guy to fucking. Here, we'll bring a fucking wheel in a doctor's skeleton <laughs> and you can act, <laughs> act with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather you attack Sam Jackson for Lakeview Terrace <laughs> oh, yeah. than oh, Jamie oh. Foxx. For, for this movie with Gerard no, Butler. No, no. You know what, though? Samuel Jackson is good. He's just been in shit. Is he good, though? He's I good like in bad him. movies. Dabba, dabba, ding, ba, ding, ding. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> yeah. Everything. Everybody, ding, ba, da, do, da. He has become... After a while, you, <laughs> you even happens with comedians. Oh, that's beautiful. You forget <laughs> how to be yourself. Like, you yeah. forget... You go, oh shit, I forgot. So Sam now, he, ha he has two things he does. He, he, gives, he gives you a big eye turn look like, like, wh what, you know, what you talking about, Willis almost like, mm. yeah. and then he goes, bada boo boo da doo da. Watch Lake View Terrace. It, 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 Lake View Terrace. He wants to put on that furious vengeance. Like that, that face with the big eyes. He, I will strike down upon thee. It's hard to follow yourself. Uh. Hard, I've seen him in Shaft 2000. It's on cable now. It's just... And you told us to to watch that other movie. Lakeview Terrace. Yeah, we still haven't watched Did it. You, like, you didn't watch Lakeview Terrace I, I got yet? It. I'm going to no. watch it today. Oh, it's terrible. shockingly bad. It's terrible. Oh, good. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's really bad. bad. It's, it's, it's so bad it's good, right? It's on the level what of did you, top bad. What did you think of him in Unbreakable? 
Unbreakable. I like them in Unbreakable. Underrated. I like Unbreakable. I've watched it probably four fucking times. If it's I it's a think it's great. great I like movie. It. I didn't see it. They need a little more action in that movie. It, but you not, know what? not, it was not cool. It was not really. cool. It was slow. It was too slow. It needed to cerebral. just be sped up Listen a little bit. Cerebral. Dude, and that was a because that was a tremendous movie. Because the powers like he, the you know that he had in that movie is like fuck. You know what? And that Shalaman is making a comeback. I want to see a little more of that shit. Yeah. With this, with the. What you doing? The Seventh Sense. He's done nothing good since then. He's getting out of that. He's doing a warrior picture about a little kid who's the who's the 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 whole world has to try to kill and he he's the he's like the best fighter that ever lived and he's gonna lead the world it's some it's some heavy it's look like it's gonna be a bad motherfucking insane, movie yeah a bad fucking movie man you could say that again <laughs> <laughs> had enough of him and his surprise endings oh really they all live on a leaf but he was drop dead <laughs> asshole one good movie <laughs> the, 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 the happening yeah fuck the happening that was a terrible film <laughs> <laughs> and then the water horse or whatever that was. I didn't even lady see the in the water. Lady, lady in the water. water. I didn't see that. Didn't see and, that one. and the happening yeah. where the trees make you kill yourself. I was like, wow, M. Night's done. That was the Shatner's you, wife you, you uh, <laughs> biopic. You can feel <laughs> Lady in the water. <laughs> you can feel his pressure to do well. Yeah. You can, after somebody says you're good, you be like, holy. I think it happened to Quentin Tarantino where people are like, he's a genius. After they call you a genius, mm. if you're not angry enough at people, like you go, if you start believing in any way. Yeah, that's a you, tough follow-up. He, he started just becoming the guy that says, uh, Quentin Tarantino liked this movie. He stopped doing <laughs> yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah. And then he did. I thought he was done after that stupid double feature thing. I loved that. You know? Yeah, I liked I it. I hated both of those fucking movies. The with problem the bitch was with the gun foot. <laughs> I'll kill that. That didn't like the gun was foot. The stupidest fucking movie. I, I like those dumb movies. That was movies. just a conceptual kind of um, a thing, though. I mean, a lot of people didn't like it. It was but a it was good like, idea. It was just the problem was that you saw them back to back. You see them individually. They they're all right. None of that. It was presented as big budget yeah. kind of. Here's Quentin's big film. Right. It should have been a, a small. Movie house kind of release. I loved Kurt Russell. I that. guess in Glorious yeah, Bastards, I did too, Bastards man. is bringing him back to you guess? something. The movie's yeah, that, doing well. So, that, well. so he came back, but 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 M Night Shyamalan. He never, I think he's his last. This is his last uh, Quinn, hurrah. Yeah, yeah. He he never was that the kid for the for the fucking air last the last Airbender. Yeah, man. This is one kid that, in the whole world is trying to kill him. Or and he's shit. kicking ass. Why don't they just fucking gang up on him? Yeah, really. That's what. No, the movie shows. The whole world, he's in this tower. It shows the whole world coming towards this tower to try to fuck this kid up. <laughs> All right, that's and stupid. They, it's not. <laughs> that is so you, dumb. But wait, what, does he have nuclear air, weapons? What, as dumb as what? What does he got? It, as dumb as what? What does he got, Jenny? What does he got, Jenny? Can fight the whole world. <laughs> What's the big secret learn? at the end? He lives yeah. on the fucking Taconic Parkway? <laughs> <laughs> like fucking uh, another piece of shit, Joaquin Phoenix movie? <laughs> It's stupid. Does he have nuclear weapons at <laughs> oh, least? Oh, it's not the past. How's he going to oh, hold off the world? We never saw planes. You see, yeah. has, you see he has a stick. A stick is going <laughs> to hold off the whole world? He's a fucking oh. cartoon character. God damn. Were well, they just giving him food poisoning or something? Exactly. <laughs> How's he getting his fucking food? Does he need a when dead therapist did... to talk to in a church? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Rotten kid. I hate this when fucking does movie. real... When do we get so real? I, I just don't like it if it's bad. I don't mind if it's... One I'm... kid against the world? Dude, that's an amazing. I understand you gotta like kind of. Oh, it's a remake of a cartoon on Nickelodeon. Oh yeah, he's yeah. remaking a cartoon. Doctor right. Steve told me that. Yeah, good. For Texted that. me. I bet uh, Michio Kaku wouldn't have known that. What? Doctor Steve hates. Of course Michio he does, because he knows Michio Kaku brings it. <laughs> yes, it. M. Night Shyamalan is like a river. <laughs> he comes from the ocean into a boring shit puddle. <laughs> you know, the text I got from Dr. Steve after fucking uh, his last the appearance bubble theory. was so great. It's like, the universe is like a Tiny soap bubbles. bubbles. And they when they come together, and it was like, so, uh, uh, Dr. Steve goes, soap bubbles. Fuck him. <laughs> so like, Why does fuck him? I loved it. Here's the thing. Kaku is obviously a, a physicist for real. He knows all this stuff. He t he's just communicates in a way that's... I'd like to see him teaching a class because he's the head of physics at, uh, I think, NYU or whatever. He probably says the same stupid analogies no, and but shit. I'd like to see Talk him... Talk like a scientist. I'd like to see oh, him I doing like equations and stuff like that. Yeah. He's the only guy that does it. I'd love to see him doing equations. Yeah. 
and, and talking about stuff like that, that in, in his language or talking to... He doesn't talk to other physicists like that. I bet he does. No, he doesn't. Oh, so it's, it's, it's like a, a gummy bear. You <laughs> chew it and then there are people who have things <laughs> in the back So we should have him in to do just that. Do an yes, equation he in front wouldn't, of us. No, he the, would sit not and go, with that dumbing down with another shit. Physicist. He, he'd yeah. laugh, he'd go, ha, ha, ha. You know, it, it, the way you want me to talk is almost like that Disney movie mm. uh, with, with the little elves in the mine <laughs> all right we physicists say i want to see him with another physicist talking yeah he's not gonna he's not gonna probably talk the same way to another physicist well, what do you think they go oh who's that little baby dynamite <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tarantino fans checking in, Patrice. Where's that go? <laughs> Tarantino uh, fans checking in, Patrice. They, uh, you know, it, Tarantino hasn't had a bad uh, run, really. Not like others. He didn't have a bad run. That's true. He really hasn't had he, a bad but run. But he, what he did was what I he Even dropped, the whole he dropped house out. Thing was, yeah, he dropped know. out. He dropped out for a minute. Like he didn't he didn't continue to make bad shit. Yeah, he took a little rest. You know, and you, then like John Woo, <clears throat> here's yeah. what America does to a lot of people, and I and that's why I love Chow Young Fat. Yes. And Did I he love, go back? I love John Woo. They they tried to come up. Now Jackie Chan said, "Fuck it, I'm staying in America." <laughs> but John Woo and Jackie and uh, 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 Chow, Chow Yun, he, they came over and they made Chow Yun do that, that, that two shitty movies. Yeah, one with the kid from Role Models, Replacement Killers, with one right, and Replacement Killers where he was starring with Mira Sorvino's, uh, well Mira Sorvino, and he did two bad or maybe even three bad American movies, and that fucker left. He went back to and did China. He said, suck my dick. I'm, a, I'm an icon in China. I'm not going to mm -hmm. come here and be some goddamn fucking goop guy. Good for him. Some fucking... To, this, to these, B, these B fucking Hollywood actors. And John Woo did the same thing, even though I like Hard Target. I love Hard Target as an American movie with uh, John claude Van Damme, who, by the way, has made some great action movies. He gets oh, yeah. no fucking credit oh. at all, man. Because um, everybody mixes him up with the fucking... Uh, Dolph Lundgren. No, no. The guy with the fucking little ponytail, the Fred Berry. Steve Seagal? Yeah, because oh, uh, yeah. people mix him up with Steven Seagal all the time. I don't, I don't think so. At some point, they were out he, at the same time. He became a joke. But Time Cop is one of the great, like, entertaining little movies yeah. you can watch all, all, all day. But at the end of the day, I, I love John Woo and them because they dropped out. So I will say that fucking what's his name dropped out. Quentin dropped out. Yeah. And so he hasn't done a lot of bad movies. And I'll, I'll say whoever is a fan of him, he, takes he didn't do time. a lot of bad. He movies. takes his time. He you doesn't know, need to be out there. Constantly, I, I, I got some. I got something else uh, on Jamie Foxx. The whole reason why I might hate <laughs> you him, motherfucker. Leave okay, Jamie that, alone. That stealth movie, okay. where he's the the fighter fucking pilot guy. Okay. I don't like any black fighter pilot guy that's talking fucking, uh, fucking jive. jive. <laughs> I've never seen. I watch the military channel constantly, and when there's a black guy. Talking about and he's fucking you know talking about his plane. He's like, let me tell you a little about the A-10 Warthog. This is a tank killer. It's a wonderful uh, vehicle. Um, it uh, has a uh, the gun up front. Uh, a lot of uh, places uh, for weaponry. And this motherfucker is an educated uh, 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 military motherfucker. And then you watch Jamie Foxx is like, oh yeah, I'm kicking some ass in my plane. Well, fuck that. Again, That's Hollywood writing. Again, I, I have, hate it. I have a white uh, equivalent. Yeah. All right. Top Gun. They were hippity dippity in Top Gun. Yeah. They were skipping around in Top Gun. Yeah, I, you know, I'm not looking at Top Gun like it's a realistic fucking movie either. I am. But, but why are you uh, looking at stealth? Because because like it's real. No, because any of that uh, uh, that fucking. You know, it's like you put a fucking hip hop guy in the cockpit. What I'm happened? Just spitting turkey. I, 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 Jimmy, just, Jimmy's covered in turkey. It's awful. It's like Tyson's on the back of a truck on fucking Thanksgiving. <laughs> Look at this turkey all oh, over turkey Jimmy. Just flying and Jimmy's just you can't like, get Patrice excited fuck? while he's eating because yeah, yeah, it yeah, just goes shit. everywhere. It's funny. Oh fuck. <laughs> I'm saying, why, why, why does? Because that know? that made a little more sense, even though they were that that was a little more. Nah. You know, they, see, see, it, see, that's Anthony, not fair. Here's what I feel. I no, feel you, the dialogue you, in Top Gun you, was you, a little hokey, too. You got a problem too. with old black Jamie Foxx. Just say it. I don't like Jamie Foxx as as an actor. But don't try to say he it's was, not he black, was, though. He, was, he annoys he, you as a black guy. No, Listen, can I be honest no. here? There's some white guys that annoy me because they suck and they're white. Like, the <laughs> mixture makes me sick. Cool. I don't know.
Uh, I don't know. Well, there's somebody some though. Who'll come up with one? No, yeah, I, I swear, I would tell you in a second if it was racial. It has to be. Because your example of stealth, Top Gun was even more. First of all, stealth is so much more of a imaginary. Yeah, I know. There's, there's a bunch of fucking and... stealth pilots. Those fucking yeah, planes yeah. fly themselves. Top Gun was a more of a movie that was it was close to like uh, Iron Eagle. It yeah, was like yeah, that yeah, was yeah. great, it's, Chappie. Oh, God. It's more Climb hot, play the tape. It's more oh. real. So yeah. Top Gun was you know with Kelly McGinnis or whatever <laughs> walking around yeah. whose career for some somebody oh. says she's finished too. Oh, she turned into El You see what Dico. she looks like now? I, wow. I haven't seen her. Oh, she's an shit. abomination. Wait till you man. see what she looks like now. Kathleen Turner, they dumped her off, too. I don't know. They, they just dumped people off. Kathleen Turner's, on, Cal Kathleen the Turner's the on Californication this uh, season. Yeah, exactly. Which is a pretty good she's fucking finished. joke. Look at Kelly McGillis. Will Smith. Will Smith. Right, look. How Will Smith. Smith. Nick, well, that's not a good How does Nicholas Cage stay in the one? fucking joke? He's a couple. He's a couple. That's a good picture. That looks like she has a haircut like Club Soda Kenny. All the way to the left. Bottom left. No, Danny will find it. It was the one we were... Yeah, it might be the one yeah. to the left. Bottom left. Guys. Bottom left. But there was one we were looking at. That's Club her. That's, that's, her. her. <laughs> that's why that's, she's not in movies that's anymore. That's who Tom Cruise oh, was Jesus fucking Jesus Christ, she looks like Claus and her. Moto. <laughs> yeah, she's horrible. Her eye is in her cheek. Yeah, that, that <laughs> now, time's Will's, a bit... Hey, hey, Patrice, Will Smith. I love Will Smith movies. Why? Uh, there's okay. a lot of them that I really like. No, I, th I think... Uh, he does great I Am movies. Legend was good and shit like that. But yeah, you great. watch Enemy of the State. And the same thing that pissed me off in Independence Day. The motherfucker is jive-talking in his fighter plane. I hate that, too. Stop it. It's not gonna. They're not making you a pilot if you're you're shucking and jiving to your but fucking plane, minute, motherfucker. But wait a minute, again, I have a white example. All right, the same movie. Your boy was named. Oh yeah, yeah, that in was the church and then the mother Buddha. He's in the terrible. plane. He's Who? playing around yes. in the plane. Yes. Who? Fucking Randy Quaid. No, Australian game show fucking blackface guy. By, by the way, uh, your boy. <laughs> Harry Connick Jr. Harry Connick Jr. Oh, and yeah, by yeah. the way, Independence Yuck. Day is a yeah. great example. Okay, it, look, that movie was the greatest movie ever seen until after they attacked. When, yeah, yeah. After the attack, the movie, I, I turn it off. After the <laughs> after the fucking uh, Statue of Liberty is, is raped, <laughs> and, every, and every scene, it's like, you know, 2012, at some point, the Statue of Liberty's pussy going to be showing. <laughs> <laughs> the book's going to be over her head, and she's underwater. But when, when that spaceship, <laughs> when the spaceship closes after we attack, done with the fucking End of the movie. movie. And, 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 yeah, it annoys you with that whole thing, yeah. like what you're doing. But it, it is a movie. What point would he be if he was not doing what he was doing? Yeah, I, I know. You know it's what I'm just, saying? Ah, that, I guess it's because I watch too many fucking real military shows, and I see these guys that are real fucking pilots. They have no personality. They, they're born for that. You talk to an old Vietnam vet. They, they, you talk to an old Vietnam vet. And you, they hate the war. They hate how they do these 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 kids. They turn them into these robots yeah. and these non-thinking people Maybe who will just do anything they want. So who wants to see that? It's the same thing as why I got mad when they got when, they, when Dana White was mad at Brock Lesnar. Every interview we know this is a gallant sport MMA, but it, these guys, their interviews are like, yeah, I just started punching in the jaw and we had a great button. Yeah, it's it's just boring. And for Brock to come out and go, I've kicked his fucking ass. <laughs> I like know it. it's real. I like that a lot. Yeah. I loved him when he did that shit because everybody wants to have everybody be robotic. So that shouldn't bother you at all because that's where radio they want mm. radio to go. I so guess. at least have a motherfucker in there going. Man, I'll kill him, motherfucker. I hated him punching his... Oh, this is yeah, suspension yeah, yeah. of disbelief. That bothered me. Okay, about that movie. That fucking alien, these aliens, tremendous... They, they weren't even outside of their body. They were in machines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he... Welcome to Earth, motherfucker. Yeah. He punched a machine out. And then that machine, they he dragged it all the way to the desert. And then that machine... Killed everybody with its mind. Yeah. <laughs>
The, the one that Will Smith said, suck my balls, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Earth, nigga. So that's, I do hate that part where it's like, okay, black guy, out yeah, you don't have to do everybody that. with exactly. a punch. It's unnecessary. You don't need him shucking and jiving through the movie. It ruined it for me when he started doing that. And men, men in black, too. It's raining black folks. It's like, no, it was good up to Just that point. His acting was good. I was enjoying what he was doing. And I don't I need legend. that. He's not a fucking he Will was Smith. Great. The black in guy. He's not the black guy. That's how I want to see Will I Smith. I wasn't looking at Will Smith going, oh, it's the black guy scientist. Oh, the black guy fucking army guy. It's, I'm, no, a it's Will Smith. And, and great. I'm a big Will Smith. I say if, if, if you know you had a choice from Schwarzenegger, Will Smith, uh, maybe John Claude. There's a few people, mm -hmm. and, and then then there's directors. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, Scorsese's. Where you go? Okay, I'm, if I'm stuck on an island, who am I watch? You know what I mean? Will Smith is up there yeah. with with yeah, his fucking good. movies. Yeah. But, but it, they do have him do his, but that's... I know what, what they, they what that's people want to see. That's what we have to fucking do. That's what people want to see. He didn't do it in I Am Legend, though, and that's, he didn't do that nonsense. No, and he was fucking like the Omega Man at all. A 30 times more than I like I Am Legend. Really? I, I love, love the Omega Damn Man. Damn you. Dude. <laughs> because the, in the Omega Man, the, they, it wasn't monsters. It was, it was, yeah, it was they, confused, they could still diseased think. Yeah, yeah. people who had a purpose. These guys, these things were just... And I, and I don't like any movie ever, and I, this is why I hated Castaway, any movie where it's just self-congratulating <laughs> acting, where I'm going to act <laughs> yeah. by myself. Watch me. Watch now my watch acting. Me act. Just me. Me and my dog. Me and a boy. Yeah. Here it is. I don't give a fuck. All right. That was other great, though, man. <laughs> that, I Am Legend was fucking great. Yeah, you I liked like it better one. than Omega Man? I, I don't remember. I have to see Omega, Omega Man. Omega Man's too dated to really like. Like, I would have love you, it. When's the last time you've seen it? Uh, pretty recently. Like, since I, I Am Legend. I fucking love that but the, movie. But the man. makeup on the fucking bad guys on fucking... Oh, it's bad. It's, yeah, it's yeah. antiquated makeup. So kind of... <laughs> yeah. It's just remake of Omega Man. They all white afros. Like that. Yeah, big white afros and shit. The disease was white afros. just looks silly. I also didn't need it. I will say... I am legend. I didn't need the Bob Marley speech. We get it. He was lovely. <laughs> <laughs>